Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to HBI Auto. My name is Kendall, for those that don't know me. Today, we are in the 2021 Porsche Macan GTS. This is a fun, compact SUV that's got a lot of power underneath the hood, and I'm really excited to show you guys this one. This is presented in a really beautiful chalk exterior with a black interior. But let's go ahead, go for a drive, and show you what this SUV has to offer. There's a little bit of backfire. So that was just up to about 55 miles an hour. Not too bad. I am in sport mode and it sounded pretty good. For a first drive, not too bad. I like the steering wheel. It's it's like a normal steering wheel, but it, uh, again, I've always appreciated the Porsche steering wheel. It just feels right and it's just a really comfortable steering wheel in my opinion. So right off the bat, this Macan GTS offers a 434 base horsepower and 405 pounds of torque, which that's a good amount. That's a pretty good combination for an SUV and for some, something that's supposed to be more family, family orientated. Now this SUV is obviously not as big as the Cayenne or as fast as the Cayenne GTS or the new Turbo GT and all those iterations. But the Macan GTS is no joke. With a 3.50 to 60 time, it's pretty comparable against other cars in its class and in its field. And even just sedans for that matter. So I was reading a couple of the forums and a lot of people had agreed that the responsiveness and kind of the, the quickness of this SUV is comparable to something like the 718 GTS. And honestly, driving it, I do feel that responsiveness, I feel that quickness, and I feel just like that small, compact um, kind of driving experience. Now looking at the interior, like I mentioned in the beginning, you've got a beautiful black interior. This is all black leather with a chalk double stitching on here. Really nice, a very clean interior in my opinion. I love the upgraded steering wheel. Now this one does not have the haptic touch in the center console area. That wasn't a thing until the 2022 generation. Really nice gauge display, simple and to the point. You do have lane assist on this Porsche Macan, which is really helpful. I was noticing that while I was driving a little bit. Really nice display right here, very big and it's pretty responsive. Some people think it's a little finicky. Oh, this SUV does only have 4,000 miles on it, so it's barely broken into. Looking at the seats, you've got a really nice sports seat. You've got the GTS logo right here. These are really, really squishy and really forgiving. Really reminds me of like a Tahoe, or like a big Suburban, how you have those really comfortable and plush seats, but they do still feel and look very sporty. In their center console area, you've got just a pretty simple, it's, it's kind of small too. You do have an SD, a SIM card, and then two USB ports right there. It is a little bit cozy right here. It is a smaller SUV. For that matter, that's something to take into consideration depending on who you've got, not, a, not only as luggage, but also who's gonna be sitting in the passenger seat behind you. But pretty spacious, not the worst, but definitely a little bit smaller than compared to the older sibling Cayenne. One thing to really note though is that you do have that full panoramic sunroof right here and then you have that automatic lift gate that opens right up. This is a pretty, it's cozy in here. You do have a good amount of space in here. See my bag just occupies that corner right there. It is a little bit smaller. I don't know about fitting golf clubs back here. You definitely would have to put one of the seats down in order to achieve that. So this is the chalk exterior on this Macan GTS, a classic color combination from Porsche themselves. You've got the black accents, you got those silver spoke wheels. They are really nice and they actually kind of fit this car pretty well. You've got some support rails right there. You do have a little spoiler on the back right there, but just looking at this SUV, it's a really clean and stealthy, just looks fast in my opinion. You do have the more Euro style taillights where it's the, where it matches the paint a little bit more compared to the red. I would have loved to see if honestly I don't know because I'm conflicted that has red and that's not red so I'm a little conflicted about that but no big deal you do have that sport exhaust back there and when you put it into sport mode it really opens up you can start to hear it a lot more and if you decide to cut off one of the mufflers or get an aftermarket exhaust it'll really open up that v6 engine and you can hear this Macan GTS kind of roar a little bit better but I'm curious to hear your thoughts about the Macan GTS. Do you like this SUV? Are you a fan of it? If not, or if so, let me know in the comments. I want to know what you think of the Macan versus the Cayenne. I've always thought the Cayenne acts more like a truck and it's more of a purpose SUV, whereas this is more of the performance SUV aspect. And it's really hard to compare this SUV to say the X3 or the GLC 63, for example, because those two are kind of competing against each other. And then the Macan is kind of in its own little world. It's it almost, it's like a Panamera, but it's not, 
It's an SUV, but it's not. It's kind of this weird, weird hybrid, but I like it because I like compact SUVs. I think they're sporty. I think they look good, and especially this one with the GTS package and that 434 horsepower. You've got some good numbers to work with from the beginning. Obviously, I would go for the more aftermarket route, you know, wheels, really good suspension upgrades, exhaust, tune, and so on and so forth. But that's just me. That's just my take. Me, I think where it lacks is just a better storage capability, maybe a little bit more room on the interior. Um, obviously, I'd love to compare a 2022 to the 21 to see what they changed. But for that matter, I think it's an eight and a half, nine at best. But that's just me. That's going to wrap it up for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. If you want information on the Macan GTS, I've left everything in the link below in the description so you can check out more photos and get in contact with the team about setting up a virtual appointment or a test drive to see this SUV. I like it. I think you should definitely consider it if, it's, if you're kind of that family that loves cars and loves to drive fast and you know, you're a performance family. I think the Macan, I think the Macan, the Macan GTS is an especially like the Macan Turbo for that matter. I think those are great SUVs to really um, put your family into and just enjoy the power of Porsche, but still have that comfort of just an everyday driver. Um, but yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.